Good afternoon, families. Um, this is Miss Peterson here. I am um, making this video so that um, you all can continue learning and practicing your CKLA skills. Um, I know things are really uncertain right now, but um, we want you to know that your teachers love you and your teachers really, really miss you. Um, but we're going to get through this and we will see you soon. Um, as you are waiting around at home and being safe in your homes, so something that you can practice in your home are nouns. You can practice common nouns, proper nouns, and possessive nouns. Those are all different types of nouns that we've been working on. You can also practice your contractions and you can practice um, verbs and adjectives and right before school let out we were practicing our rule um, of when we double the consonant on the end when we add a suffix like ed or ing. Think the three things to remember for that would be is it how many syllables is the word? Remember to put your hand under your chin and when your chin drops one time, that's one syllable because it has one vowel sound. So if you had the word skip, skip, it's one vowel sound. The second thing you're looking for when you double that last consonant sound is, um, is it a short vowel sound? That's the second thing that you need to check off on your little mental checklist that we used to talk about. And then the third thing and the last thing is is there only one consonant sound after that short vowel sound? And if that's the case, then yes, you need to double that last consonant sound before you add your ED or your ING. Something that you might also want to do during this time with your families is teach someone how to chain. Um, that's something that we've done in class where you only change one sound per word. So that would be like going from the word ham to the word cam. You would change that first sound to a C. And then going from the word cam to the word cap, which means you change that last sound to a, a P from an M to a P. And then... Um, going from cap to can, which would be changing the p sound to a P, or from a P to an N. Um, that's something that you could do at home. You could have, you know, your family help you create your own chain, and then you can practice it um, like we did at school, where you would write your word, and then that you would tell your family member, okay, if that is cap, show me can and then you and your family member can work that out together. Another thing that you could be working on would be to run around your house um, or your home and find nouns. Um, go on a noun scavenger hunt. If you have post-it notes, you could use post-it notes. If you don't have post-it notes, that's okay. You could use um, paper that's been cut apart. Um, really, or anything, you could even just use your eyes and go through and say, oh, this is a chair. That's a person, place, or thing. That's a thing. So it's a noun. And then maybe for um, an extra challenge, decide whether it's a common noun or it's a proper noun. Um, and then we could even talk about plural nouns. Um, but maybe around your kitchen table, you would look and say, oh, here's a chair, but I see one, two, three, four, five, six chairs and then make sure that you remember that that's a plural noun. So a noun scavenger hunt in your house could be a really fun way to remember and practice um, the things that we've been talking about in school. When the weather's nice, we could go outside and use something like sidewalk chalk um, to write our words and remember those chains we were talking about you could even chain on the sidewalk chalk um, you wouldn't be able to erase but you could just draw an arrow 
and then write the word again with the change. So if you were going from cap to can, you would write cap, and then you would draw an arrow, and then you would write cam, and you'd have to think, okay, k -a -m. So the p is the sound that changes, so when you write your next word, you would write C-A-M. For those of you that have access, um, we sent home before the break was over just a reminder of how to log on to your IXL um, and Myon and all of those really nice websites. If you're on IXL, you can be working on JJ or OO or NN. Um, really any kind of work on IXL and under first grade um, will be helpful. But those three in particular will, would be beneficial to, for you all to look at and review as a family or for your student to look at online. So some other things you can work on on IXL are N, P, Q, R, E, E, F, F, J, J, O, O, and P, P. I would also like to encourage you to practice your um, space E sounds, your space E sounds, um, like in rake and in cake and words like that. Um, if you remember the foldable we made, um, I'm going to show you in a second how to make that again if we've forgotten, but that would be a very good way to practice. And the last thing that I want you to practice this week, and my challenge to you this week, is to teach the Ed dance to a family member or someone that you love that is in your house with you or your home with you. Um, and after you teach the family member the Ed dance, I want you to show them a new way to do the dance. So remember how we used to do our dance, our Ed dance, our t -d Ed dance. This time, I want you to show the family member a new way. What that means is, and what your challenge is, show them a new way to do the dance. That means you make it up. So you make up three new moves, because remember we used to do the t -t -t -ed. Remember we used to do that? I want you to do three new moves to each part of that song. So one move for the first part, another move for the second part, and another new move for the last part. So teach your family members. I will be posting a follow-up video of our song, but I want to see some challenges come in first, okay? Um, we love you. We miss you. Families, if you need anything, let us know. We're here to help you. If you have any specific questions about something that we should be working on or something that maybe your student is not quite remembering at home or maybe needs an extra challenge at home, shoot us a dojo message um, just to let us know and we will do your best to help you. We love you and we're going to get through this together. Miss you. Bye! Um, here's just a reminder of how to make um, the space E foldables that we made in class. Uh, you can use these if you have a laminator at home it would be great um, to make it reusable but if that's not the case you could take packaging tape and go over a regular piece of paper um, twice on both sides so that the shiny part is on both both sides. Um, that way you can erase it and it's kind of like you've made it laminated. Uh, this is just regular uh, printer paper and I'm going to write, see mine is not uh, laminated at all, but this is just to show you guys how to do this and excuse my messy uh, craft table. Um, this is my art table that I use, but anyway. So if I wanted to make the word So I've got the word cap here, and the way this foldable works is you have a fold, and on the fold you have the letter E. 
and when you fold the letter in, it changes the sound right here. And so your students have learned to, they can, you know, do this with their fingers when they're sent, when they come across um, a space E spelling like this, and that makes that one, these two work together to make the A sound. So this word goes from cap to cape. Students, I would also like to present you with one more challenge. I'd also like for you to go to, if you're able, Sullivan County's website. Um, if you go to curriculum and then click on first grade and then click on CKLA um, and then click on third nine weeks, you can pull up our readers online on um, through our website, our county website. So, if you can get a parent to help you and you can do that, fam or a family to help you, um, when you do that, I would like for you to read your favorite story from your favorite reader. It can be um, Unit 4 or Unit 5. So find your favorite story in that reader, use the table of contents, um, and read it to um, your favorite story to someone that you love. Uh, I would love to get some stories too. Um, you can either send those through Dojo or um, however else you would like to send those. Um, Dojo would probably be the easiest. Or you can email them to me at emily.peterson at soldenk12.net. So that is your second challenge for this week. Love you guys. Miss you a lot. Bye.